Interracial relationships, they can often draw criticism. Wow. Unbelievable. But what happens when a bigot blusters their opinion in a public place? Hi, excuse me. I mean, is this really appropriate that you guys are doing the whole kissing and everything? Excuse me? What would you do if you saw an interracial couple getting berated for no other reason than the color of their skin? Are you insecure? Did you go to white school? Are you serious? We're at Texas, Arizona, a sports bar in Hoboken, New Jersey, that attracts a diverse crowd. Wait a minute, did you hear that? Am I too white? This mixed race couple and the races who antagonize them are all actors. What's happening is, is that more and more of our black race is starting to diminish. Okay, thanks. Could you please, please just let business. us enjoy our moment? As soon as the racist leaves, sympathy from the young women next to our couple. I am so sorry. Have a cheers. No worries. Everybody's got their opinions. Everybody's got their opinions. No worries. Cheers to all of you. Why are you not with an eligible black man? What's going to happen when you guys want to have children? You know what? I get it all the time. This woman also offers lots of comfort. Because, as it turns out, my boyfriend now that I have, he's actually white, and oh, that's really? why, yeah, and that's why I felt bad. I didn't see anything. I'm not getting involved. I was like, uh. mostly for me, it's more of a family thing. Like mm -hmm. I get like, oh, she's black, you mm -hmm. know. So don't don't let it bother you. Seriously. Heartfelt sympathy and support from Danae Riley, who knows firsthand what our couple just went through. I kind of wanted to stay out of it. But you really were very comforting to her. I just feel like if you care about someone and you know you love someone and you're for that person, then you just should be with them. But so far, no one has confronted the racists. But guess what? There's also a purity of race that needs to be kept. But it's then, this control. woman I mean, shows up. You know what's funny? I'm Spanish, right? Okay. My ex-husband was black. Okay. I have three children from him. And now I'm married to an Italian. Okay, guess what? We're out of here, buddy. As the couple gets up to leave, the victim of this verbal onslaught is in tears. You see what you just did? That's why I wouldn't roll with you. I would be embarrassed if I were you. No, you Suddenly, this man, who's been keeping quiet, can't hold his tongue any longer. You don't get to pick on people here at the freaking bar. That's ridiculous. It's insane. Did we insult anybody? Did I insult you, sir? Yeah, you did. He wasn't good enough because he was white with her. That's what the problem is here. You said that because she lowered her standards to be with him. We're out of here. We're going to leave. You should have done that like maybe two hours As they leave, everyone applauds and breathes a collective sigh of relief. I'll pay that check, okay? Don't be, no big deal, No, right? you're not mad. No, I, no, better than me going to hit the guy. <laughs> Hi, guys. My name is John Quinones. This is part of a TV show called What Would You Do? Oh, my God. <laughs> I wanted to get up and just, like, push her out of here. Because how mad I got. Maritza Placencia and her friend Phil Marone are just colleagues, and yet... I was gonna kiss her just to annoy him. <laughs> There's also a purity of race that needs to be kept. I didn't even mind those three guys. I, I love that they voiced their opinion, but then that's it. They made it... I felt very uncomfortable, I guess I had to say something. <laughs> It's time to switch things up a bit. Now our interracial couple is a black man dating a white woman. Girl, this is ridiculous. These two African-American women are also actors, playing the role of outraged and outspoken instigators. Excuse me, are you guys together? Yes. We are yes. together. Yeah. It's a mess. It doesn't take long before this guy gets pulled into the conversation. Exactly. Oh, so you couldn't is, find the black woman. Enough. We're not attractive. Oh, I'm garbage? If I'm garbage, what is she? No, what's ignorant is this couple being here together. <laughs> Hold it down. Exasperated, Hold it down. he's had enough and heads straight for the door, leaving his beer behind. Wouldn't want somebody like your mother. But then these girls take over to help defend the interracial couple. What does your color have anything to do with it? It doesn't matter at all. Are you sure? I'm positive. I don't, I don't think so, Mom. I'm 100% I'm positive. It has nothing to do with the person on the outside. It's the person on the inside. You're, you're still in tears. Yes. I'm, I don't even know. It affected you pretty strongly. It did. 
Thank you so much. You're amazing. Andrea Lenendola says the color of your skin should never matter. I could have orange skin, it doesn't matter. I'm a good person, I know I'm a good person, then that's all that matters. We try it again. Okay, so you couldn't find a black woman that you love? I mean, what do you think? You don't see anything wrong with it? Oh, your heart's in that person, that's all that matters. I used to think like that when I was young and, and you know, uneducated about life. Uneducated? So are you calling me uneducated right now? I'm talking about myself right now. Bye. After the couple leaves, this woman tries to reason with the racists. As long as you're secure with your blackness. And I am. Right, then you don't have to do things like that. I'm sorry if I offended you, but... No, no, we're not offended at all. It's just that we have some rules that we follow in our family. Hi, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out Cherise Dawes is a psychologist trained to diffuse situations like these. Well, because I'm so accustomed to talking to people, if their beliefs are falling outside of things that we would think are appropriate. <laughs> So I try to reason with people. That's the kind of attitude that I try to take. You're so beautiful, baby. We try the scene one last time. What is that? But now the racists hurling the insults are white, and they come with an attitude that reminds us of the KKK. That pisses me off. As soon as this guy settles into his bar stool, he hears this. Excuse me, miss. It looks like you're serving them here and it's disgusting, okay? This is a white woman, okay? And you shouldn't be dating a white woman. Find a black woman to date. It's disgusting. Of course I'm serious. It's disgusting. Are you kidding me? What is he saying? I, 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 wow. He's dumbfounded and can barely speak. I'm, just, I'm not shocked. I, 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 I probably would slap. And now another verbal assault. My boyfriend's right. It's wait, really... Are you kidding me? Yeah, no. no. seriously. I'm not kidding you. It's really disgusting that you guys What's can come in here. I love her? I don't know what you could see. Come possibly. Here Suddenly, the men to the right jump into the fray. Well, why are you here? Why are you this? Because it's disgusting to see you two together. I don't think so, right? Oh, really? And you interrupted my beer, so sit back down. No, thank Excuse you. Excuse me. I have a right to speak my mind. Where we come from, we don't do that. Well, you know what? There's you can go back to where you that. came from, too, OK? And when the verbal assaults don't stop, he's had enough. You so goddamn racist. Both you and your lady get out. You and your lady get out. We're leaving. Yeah, I'm glad yeah. you're leaving. We're, We're leaving. Good luck. Goodbye. 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 Nice meeting you. Get a life. Sir, how you doing? My name is John Quinones. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you OK? <laughs> This is part of what would you do? Oh, <laughs> I'm a VIP, yes! You were amazing. You know, I see your show all the time. Yeah? yeah. So what were you thinking? Well, I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want, I just want to get involved because try not to say anything about it. But, oh, here's the guy. I was about ready to pull this guy. I'm sorry, man. No, 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 it's OK. I'm you glad you did what like you did. No, I say it's good that you talk about things like this because racism is alive in this world. Your message to the world out there? It's not worth being racist no matter what color or creed you are because I can say, you know, you hate somebody, that means that you hate yourself. Kenyatta Simpson gives us another compassionate argument for a colorblind society. But others point out, we've still got some work to do. Racism hasn't been fixed. We have to work together and maybe do things like this to help us identify our true feelings about that and start intelligent conversations.